Hey you guys, welcome back to Crochet College, or if this is your first time, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be showing you this Premier Hipster Cotton. I purchased this at Michael's for $7.99, but at the time I'm recording this video, I looked on their website and it's currently on sale for $5.99. Like that's what they're listing it as. It's not a sale, limited time sale type thing. They've adjusted the price. I was attracted to this yarn for all of the colors. They have it in many different varieties with all of these awesome tie-dyed looking bright colors, which can be hard to find in a cotton yarn. And this Premier yarn is a 100% cotton. For those of you who have been following me for a little while, you know that I've been working on making that switch to more sustainable and better for the environment yarn fibers. And cotton, I think, is one of the easiest to switch to for me personally. So this is in the color Summer Splash. The yarn itself says that you can machine wash it um, on warm and tumble dry, which is a nice bonus because a lot of the times I do find um, cottons will recommend like a lay flat to dry so it doesn't shrink. And I like that this one says you can dry it in the, in the tumbler. This says it is a light three weight yarn. I do agree with that. It's a very light yarn, um, very thin. And the one thing I don't necessarily think is accurate is that they want you to use a five millimeter crochet hook with it. So I'm gonna work up a square and see how it looks. But I mean, you guys know I've been, I enjoy tight knit things and, and stitches that are close together to really highlight the stitch. And I just don't think a five millimeter crochet hook will, will produce the kind of look that I'm looking for. But I mean, let's give it a try and see. So this skein in total has 229 yards or 210 meters per 100 grams. So it's a 100 gram skein. I paid $7.99 for it, but now you can get it for $5.99. So to make a four inch by four inch swatch, it recommends you do 16 single crochets by 18 rows. So let's see how that does. So I have worked up the recommended to make a four inch by four inch square, 16 single crochets with 18 rows with a five millimeter crochet hook. And uh, as far as getting the um, measurement correct with this gauge, I wasn't able to achieve that. I usually let the hook do the talking. I don't put too much extra tension on my yarn. And using this hook, I wound up with a roughly five inch by five inch square. However, um, they recommended that hook size to get a four inch by four inch square. So if I were to achieve um, that gauge, I or really to hit the four inches for me, it's about 12 stitches across, followed by about 15 rows. So 12 stitches of single crochet and 15 rows using the five millimeter crochet hook would get me to that four inch by four inch mark. However, that doesn't necessarily make the yarn a bad yarn. I personally enjoyed this yarn a lot. Even with that bigger hook, I think it creates a beautiful fabric that is definitely wearable. And sometimes that's hard to achieve with a big hook with a yarn that does feel so thin but it does create a very nice, light, drapey fabric. I have used this yarn with a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook to create this water bottle holster for a custom order. I actually have to deliver it today, but I really enjoyed using it for this with a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. It just made a very smooth, beautiful, kind of rainbow tie-dyed project, even the strap. And it's awesome how something with all these different colors in it does create a very nice uniform project where sometimes color matching can be difficult. They kind of hit it right on the head with this fun, wacky color transitions. So overall, I really do like this yarn. Um, I, I don't love that they didn't get the gauging right because I feel like um, it's important for them to to be at least close 
and to be an inch off, maybe they're aiming to do a gauge that will result in a four inch by four inch square after washing. Um, but that's not the way I think about my projects. When I think about what size I need them to be, I account for stretching and shrinking after the fact. So overall, I'm going to give this a seven out of 10 because I really do like the colors. I love how the yarn feels, even though it's 100% cotton, it is soft. Um, and it mixes colors in a beautiful way. You can see how it assists in those transitions by having a couple little tie-dyed spots randomly throughout it, making it feel really natural and almost hand-dyed. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you'll be one of the first to know when I come out with a new video, tutorial, or pattern. As always, thank you guys for crocheting with me, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.